Big win for ACU men's basketball. They knock off Northwestern State 76-72. to We've got head coach Joe Golding, and we've got redshirt freshman Jelani Friday. Jelani, 20 points today. You made seven of your eight shots. Uh, did you have a hunch going into the game today that you might have a big game? No, it was just basically my coaches tell me don't change nothing what you do. Pound it inside more. Yeah, the threes will come. That's that's nothing. So basically, that's what I went into the game thinking. Well, you made three threes in the game today. You scored six points in the paint early. Uh, does it matter to you where you score? Do you like to get in the paint early, or does it? Do you even care? I just I just score wherever my uh, teammates put me in the best position to score at. The game on Thursday night at Conway, there were a lot of shots that we talked about this after the game, a lot of shots that you wanted. Like we got you, the shots that really that we were trying to get and they just didn't go in. Yeah. How hard is it as a player, especially when you only have less than 48 hours to turn around, how hard is it to shake off a, a frustrating game like Thursday? Well, that's, that, that's part of growth. I mean, you're going to have a bad game. You're not going to be great every game. So basically you got to shake back from – what happened last game, and it's a new game, one game at a time. How uh, tense was it out there in those closing seconds? Very tense. I, I, I wish it wasn't like that most of the time, but it's fun. Make it fun for the fans anyway, yeah. don't you? Let's talk to your head coach. Uh, he talked about growth. I mean, he's grown up to 6'9 in, in physical stature, and we see these little moments bouncing back from a tough game and having a game like today. Yeah, he's, he's a special kid. You know, I'm, I'm, we're extremely fortunate, our staff, to be able to coach him every day. Um, he, he's uh, learning each and every day. Uh, it's a different situation, a different deal, and he's come a long way, you know, from, from where he first got started here, and that's a credit to a lot of people that uh, have been in his life. There's no question he's God uh, has blessed him with a ton of talent, and it's, uh, it's our job to continue to stay after him and coach him up. Uh, because he wants to be a great player. He just doesn't want to be a good player, you know. And so, uh, you know, we're proud of him. I was proud of all of our guys. Yeah. You know, I thought all of our guys stepped up and uh, at different times today uh, made some plays. And it wasn't the prettiest thing. Uh, some but you were playing a desperate team today, some, weren't you? Some, yeah, there's no question. You know, those guys had lost some games in a row. They're, they're playing for Katie. They got yeah. some seniors on that team. And, uh, you know, they got a lot on the line. And this has kind of been their MO. They've lost a ton of games late. They fall behind and then they fight back. And they, yeah. they, they, I think they've lost four uh, out of the last eight in the last minute or last possession. So it's been a tough trip. They get beaten overtime to SFA, right. uh, a game that they controlled for the most part. So uh, anytime you can beat a team like that, especially on a quick turnaround, we'll take it. Coach, I know that being up 12 going to the second half, you would have loved a 20, 25-point win. But just like New Orleans, you give up a halftime lead and still find a way. That, that's got to mean something, I would think. Yeah, we're really good at that, you know. We're getting, no, you're we're good, getting, but, uh, but the ability to withstand a yeah. team's best shot. Yeah, you know, I, we, we got to learn not to do that. But you're right. I think we're getting better and growing up that when teams take shots, you got to settle down. Sometimes I'm a fiery guy, and I go, and uh, I think i got to be a little bit more calm with them when, when runs happen to settle them down. Um, but I, I thought. I thought our guys have that they have gotten better at that, and we've won. The key is we've won some games. You know, early we, in these tight games right. we've lost. Yeah. We've been able to win some tight games now and execute. And you look at it, we got the ball and got the right shots late and got to the free throw line. And he got some tough. Uh, we got the ball inside to him a couple yeah. times late. And we were able to score some good baskets. And then Jaron Lewis, we were able to get him to the free throw line. And Jaron Lewis did a great job. We had no timeouts. I called the timeout with a minute 11, <clears throat> thinking that we just needed one more stop and we could rebound and, and, and stretch this thing to a three possession game. And it didn't happen that way. And so um, Jaron was able to get the ball in bounds every single time without zero time, which is a lot of pressure. So, again, there were plays all over the floor and just proud of our guys for uh, figuring it out and finding a way. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish. And even though you didn't shoot great from the free throw line, when you really had to make free throws, you did. And even though Jalen Franklin didn't shoot the ball great, when you needed him to make plays, he did. Yeah, he made a play. And that's what we've been trying to tell him you know, all the time. Don't You can't let offense dictate what you're doing on the defensive end. He should be one of the best defenders in this league. Uh, and you know, he got some uh, opportunities where he created some turnovers. Huge play, obviously, late in the game to get that dunk. And it was kind of like, all right, here we go. And uh, you know, that's what good players do. They go make plays uh, in close game situations. Not a lot of, there's, there is coaching. We Put them, try to put them in the right places, but players go make plays. And our guys are starting to make uh, some plays, and so that's exciting for me. Huge win for ACU today. They knock off Northwestern State 76-72. That's now four straight home wins in conference for ACU. Now they head out to Lake Charles next Thursday to take on the McNeese Cowboys. For Jelani Friday and Coach Joe Golding, I'm Grant Boone.